Welcome to Mr. Handicapper. Before I take a look at race number 10 on Saturday at Alice Park, Stephen Foster, I just want to say um, there's a lot of great racing this weekend, a bunch of great stakes races. I will be posting analysis for some of the other races this weekend as well. So if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button so you'll be instantly notified when my picks are posted. Also, this is a great time for horse racing because uh, we're we got Saratoga that's about to come up. We got Delmar's about to, about to come up. We really got some really great races coming up now. Um, I'm going to take a look at race number 10 on Saturday at Ellis Park. The Grade 1 Stephen Foster Stakes. I believe this is the first Grade 1 race ever at Ellis Park. Of course, this race was originally scheduled for Churchill Downs. And what a competitive field this is. You have uh, six of these horses have earned over a million dollars. This is a solid field of eight horses, and if you told me you wanted to use seven of the eight on your tickets, I wouldn't be mad at you. This is a competitive field. I went back and forth trying to pick a winner in this one. Let's take a look at the field and Stephen Foster Stakes. Look at the one horse proxy at four to one. He ran in this race last year when it was at Churchill. Finished third. He's a grade one winner. He won the grade one clock. And last time out, won the grade two Oaklawn handicap. That's actually a, did pretty well in the Santa Anita handicap as well. Losing by a neck to Stiletto Boy. Owned by Godolphin. Joel Rosario returns. Get for the one on the one horse proxy. Let's take a look at that two horse, the little boy at six to one. Out of 22 races, he only has four wins, so he doesn't win a whole lot. He comes into money, though. And uh, he's done pretty well for himself. He has over $1.8 million in earnings. Tell you, even though he doesn't win a lot, he, he keeps pretty good company, doesn't he? You know, he makes a living off of a grade one and grade two races. He's been going up against some quality competition. Take a look at the uh, Pegasus World Cup Invitational back in 2022, where he finished third behind Life is Good and Nick's Go. He's 26 to 1 in that race. Then the Pegasus World Cup Invitational. Earlier this year, finished third in that race behind Art Collect and Defunded. He was 45 to 1 in that race. Two races back, he won the Santa Anita handicap at 13 to 1. Getting 6 to 1 on a two horse stiletto boy. He will be farly placed in this race. I will use stiletto boy at 6 to 1. On my tickets. Take a look at the three horse who will also be forwardly placed. It is Speed Bias. Last time out, Pimlico Special finished second to Rattle and Roll by a nose. He's got some nice workouts coming into this race. He is looking for his first. Stakes win. Luis Saez returns. You're getting 12 to 1 on the three halls. Speed bias. Take a look at the four. It's at 4 to 1. It's rattle and roll, and he is in excellent form. He's won three races in a row. Grade 3, Ben Ali, Keeneland. And he followed it up, winning the Pimlico Special. Last time out, he won the Grade 3 Blame Stakes at Churchill. You can't deny Rattle and Rolls Farm. Get 4 to 1 on the 4 horse. I will use him on my tickets.
Take a look at your morning line favorite at three to one. Smile happy. Out of eight races, he's finishing the money seven times. He's a multiple graded stakes winner. You go back and you, you look at uh, how he raced as a three-year-old. You know, he didn't do well in the Kentucky Derby finishing eight, but uh, he didn't do too bad as a three-year-old. He uh, finished second in the Bluegrass Stakes to Zandon. Before that, he finished second in the Risen Star Stakes to the 2022 three-year-old of the year, Epicent. He made his four-year-old debut at Oakland, where he won by a length and a quarter. The next time out in the Oakland Mile, he got caught in a lot of traffic at about the quarter pole. He was behind a wall of horses. He managed to finish third in that race. And last time out in the Alley Sheba, he was the upset winner of that one, beating out Art Collect and West World Power. He was 7-1. to one. Put up a really nice speed figure. Getting 3-1. to one. On the five horse, Smile Happy. I will use Smile Happy on my tickets. Take a look at the six horse at seven to two. West Will Power. He disappointed last time out in the Alley Sheba. He was the favorite, and he finished third. I'm going to tell you, he's a solid horse. I mean, look at his record out of 16 races. He's coming to money 14 times. Finished first and second 13 times. And he absolutely loves this distance. Five tries at a mile and an eight. Three seconds. Uh, excuse me, three wins in two seconds. His last three wins have come at the mile and an eight distance. Trained by Brad Cox, he will be forward in this race. He's back at a distance that he loves. Getting 7-2 on West Will Power. I will use West Will Power on my tickets. Take a look at the 7 halls. Last Samurai. Last time out, he uh, finished fourth in the grade to Ali Sheba. He had about maybe just a couple weeks off between that race and Oakland Handicap where he finished second by a head behind Proxy. Put together a couple of grade three wins before that. And he definitely loves Oakland. Getting six to one. Seven horse last samurai. It's coming off about a two month layoff. Maybe, maybe he needs to rest. Christian Torres aboard. And there's your long shot in the field at 20 to 1. It's Happy American. Finished a decent third last time out in the Blame Stakes at 14 to 1. Uh, he's kind of struggled this year, Happy American. Getting 20 to 1. On the eight horse, happy American. So this is a competitive field, and uh, I'm probably leave a horse or two off my tickets that I, I might regret. <laughs> but these are the horses I'm using. I'm using Westwell Powers, the little boy, rattle and roll, and smile happy. And you know what? I gotta include Proxy as well. I'm not leaving Proxy off my tickets. I'm gonna include Proxy. So I went back and forth trying to pick a winner here. I will watch the tote board, and I will watch how the track is uh, running over that Ellis. You know, if it favors speed horses, I'll keep an eye out on the other races before this one. The horse I'm going to pick to win, the Stephen Foster. I'm going to go with the five horse, Smile Happy. I like his race last time out. And he had a pretty good excuse in that Oakland Mile. I'm going to go with the five-horse mile happy to win. But I'll keep an eye out on that tote board. 
Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Let me know who you're picking in this race. It's going to be a good one. Good luck.